This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. Film critics love B pictures, the second line films that were made in the heyday of the studio era that often had more interesting filmmaking than the big A pictures that the studios were very much interested in. This week I'm talking about two B picture classics, cult classics, that are now out on DVD in editions that are really going to make critics and everyone else smile. First picture is Phantom Lady. This is starring Francho Tone and Ella Raines. It's from a story by Cornell Woolrich, who is one of the masters of strange dark fiction about a key witness that disappears. If this woman can't be found, if this phantom lady can't be found, an innocent man will die. That's the story there. I thought guys didn't cry. Thanks. Where were you around 8 o'clock tonight? In a bar. Alone? No, I met a woman there. I wasn't in the mood to be by myself. So I asked her to go to a show with me. Who was she? I don't know. She didn't tell me her name. <laughs> well, she didn't. Besides, what's that got to do with it? A very neat dresser, Mr. Henderson. Yes, everything goes together. It's a knot. Nice tie you're wearing. Tie? Pretty taste. Expensive. I wish I could afford it. Say, what are you trying to do to me? Marcella's dead. Give me a break. What's the difference whether my tie's okay or not? Makes a great deal of difference, Mr. Henderson. Why? Your wife was strangled with one of your ties. Yeah. Knotted so tight. It had to be cut loose with a knife. The other one is a real classic, one of the most famous, most celebrated B pictures ever made. It's called Detour. It's directed by the B picture master, Edgar G. Omer. It's a story of a man who is hitchhiking his way to Los Angeles. What happens when a car stops for him? It's one of the darkest, most astonishing B pictures ever made and it's great to have it out in home usage form again. Thumbing rides may save your bus fare, but it's dangerous. You never know what's in store for you when you hear the squeal of brakes. If only I had known what I was getting into that day in Arizona. Yeah, throw that in the back seat. Okay, let's go. Make sure that door is closed. Emily Post ought to write a book of rules for guys thumbing rides. Because as it is now, you never know what's right and what's wrong. We rode along for a little while, neither one of us saying anything. I was glad of that. I never know what to say to strange people driving cars. Then, too, you can never tell if a guy wants to talk. A lot of rides have been cut short because of a big mouth. So I kept my mouth shut until he started opening up. Hand me that little box in the compartment, will you, pal? Hold the wheel, will you? How far are you going? L.A. Well, you're really traveling, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't expect to make it for a couple of years at the rate I've been promoting rides. Not much luck, huh? Sure, all bad. Not many people stop for a guy these days. Afraid of a stick-up, maybe. Well, they can't blame him. Where are you coming from? New York. Well, New York. You're in luck this time. I'm going all the way. Right through to Los Angeles. You drive a car? Sure. Whenever you're tired, let me know. I'll holler. 